Stonewall. It's really about how the youth started this revolution. Not that many people know about it. To me, it's a really interesting moment of American history. A ferocity, it's defiance, it's gay power. And these kids just had enough. It wasn't one specific person, it was a collective, it was a group. It's exciting when ordinary people do extraordinary things. I'm gonna get you all figured out, okay? I play Ray or Ramona, depending on the, the hour. <laughs> but you certainly didn't come to Christopher Street for the pizza. Welcome to New York. Many of the characters in the film are composites of several real people. There's a, a guy named Ray Castro, and he was very much one of the village kids. Judy's supposed to be tragic. Oh, He's a part of her beauty. And the Wizard of Oz, man, she's just like us. A girl just lost in a world that don't understand her. And then there's also Sylvia Rivera. She's one of the first really prominent trans activists. I've always really wanted to tell her story because I've always found her to be infinitely special. She shined in a place where it was just very dark. All right, it's a raid. Get in the line up against the walls. I know y'all pigs get paid off every time you raid this place. I probably paid for all your kids' Christmas presents. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. One thing that I love about Ray is that Ray is a dreamer. And if he's anything like Sylvia Rivera, we know that he goes on to really kind of give back to the community because he's got so much love and he's got hope. And the future gets brighter. Hi, it's Lisa with a quick movie fact from 1982's Blade Runner. Did you know the title had nothing to do with the Philip K. Dick story the film is based on? Instead, it comes from Alan E. Norse's 1974 novel about the supply of black market medical supplies in a dystopian future. Hmm, interesting, hey? Now hit that subscribe button to keep updated on all the latest trailer releases.